Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm already at my delivery. Actually, I left the island yesterday and delivered to Boston. Now I'm going to check in. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I'm checked in. My appointment at nine, and they gave me door ten. And he let me know in advance that they charge for unloading or otherwise I, sh I have to unload myself but I won't do that I let them pay bulk will pay for that it's probably gonna cost like around 200 something we will see load looks good <sighs> let's back it in Here I am in Boston and my next delivery is over here in Rainham, usual place, but I have to go right through Boston, just right through. Almost 10 a.m. and I got my paperwork, it's actually only $49 for unloading, which is good and uh, now let's go to the second delivery. I waited for two hours at my second delivery to get the door. Got the door, red light right away, and I can feel the movement, so they are unloading me, which is good. And I hope to get out from here, like in a half an hour, and I know where to go. Dispatch told me to go to Jersey City, so probably it's gonna be Tropicana load, we'll see, but at least I know what to do, that's good. Not quick at all. I already got my paperwork and it's almost 2 p.m. Let's go. Hey, it's Sunday, uh, long weekend, tomorrow is a Labor Day, officially a statutory holiday and anyway, I got unloaded this morning at 8 a.m., awesome, and actually was kinda ready to stay here for two days till Tuesday because I wasn't expecting they have a lot for me during the long weekend, but they have, uh, it's Canadian Tire and uh, I already came here to pick it up. Uh, it has three deliveries first one in Woodstock so I go from Toronto all the way to Woodstock and uh, my second drop in Grand Falls so I'm going backward and the third drop in uh, Edmonton kind of weird but anyway uh, let's go pick it up I already found my trailer and just want to show you that I'm lucky if my trailer was parked somewhere there I won't be able to pull it out because of this but there's nothing in front of me and somewhere over there awesome trailer a bit damaged so filming just in case kind of looks kind of old scratches but who knows who knows and uh, over here over here and over here even a rip through mm -hmm.
looks good in the back uh -huh. something else that's probably old one probably yeah, someone parked this one not straight at all and I can see my trailer is way higher No damage in here so good i don't think you can see it in the camera but uh, i can tell that my trailer is way too high too much space between my tires and the trailer so if i back all the way in i can damage something let's see Opa. yeah yeah i won't even lock it so i have to drop it by hand Canadian tire often do that. A lot of water and it's coming from the trailer roof and uh, I even dropped the suspension intentionally on the truck so it's more inclined in this direction so let's see how much water got collected there hey what's up yesterday I made it to Napani it's uh, less than two hours away from Toronto flying J and uh, for today I have left like 10 maybe 11 hours of driving and uh, this way I'm gonna make more money because uh, it's in bulk areas it's better when you drive on a stationary holiday you get more money so that is the plan and tomorrow morning at 6 45 I have an appointment at Canadian Tire Woodstock so we'll get there tonight sun is probably out somewhere behind that cloud and on the opposite side there is some thunderstorm clouds looks awesome anyway let's go I've made it to Edmonton New Brunswick and I'm like only 100 miles away from my delivery and also there is a another show truck stop in Woodstock so I'm thinking maybe I will spend the night there not as usual not at the Canadian Tire as usual but I don't know yet some epic rain cloud over there and it's moving fast and I think I'm losing the mountain over there yeah crazy crazy cloud some rain as well okay I'm at Shell in Woodstock and I want to show you my possible route for tomorrow so if we come here and plan you can see first Canadian Tire it's uh, in Woodstock then Grand Falls then Edmonton then my possible stop in Kelcold, maybe they will send me to load some trailer or something and then to the yard so in total it's like eight hours of driving and less than 500 miles so it's absolutely doable even if i will be like unloaded in some spots more than two hours three spots like six hours to, to unload maybe even more even with that, uh, 
six hours here, eight hours of driving. It's like 14 hours window and I have 16 hours window. So I would be able to get home. And this, this is why I'm planning to spend the night here, take a shower in the morning and then went to uh then to go to my first delivery it is way nicer for me to spend the night here at the truck stop take a shower in the morning and only after that continue with my deliveries and uh, it's a bit more riskier uh, because sometimes at canadian tire they unload you really long like four hours even longer and uh, that way i could run into some issues but uh, anyway I think I'll be okay because I would be able to spend that long waiting times at the del uh, at the deliveries as my split slipper so I should be okay because I'm I'm not planning to work extra this week locally and uh, I just want to get home I just checked in the weather app and that heavy rain thunderstorm cloud is coming behind me and it's gonna be here like pretty soon like within minutes okay it's gonna be raining at night yeah it wasn't in minutes it's been an hour and a half i think and the rain started like from time to time pretty bright flashes of lightning thunderstorm stuff like that and uh, i hope it's gonna last like the weather app says like for two three hours yeah, hoping for a good night's sleep. I am at my second delivery and uh, at my first delivery, it took two hours to unload me and hour and eight minutes driving here. Not great, but okay so far my third and last delivery and it looks like not too many items so shouldn't be too long there's a golf court over here and unfortunately there is a blind side packing at this location because they don't have space over there and you have to do it with the right turn it's been an hour and a half and I'm empty and the trailer is clean, which is awesome. Okay, it's time to wrap up this vlog. Uh, it was a normal, good trip. Unfortunately, Icona is working these days when I'm at home, so there's no point for me to stay at home for too long. And uh, I'm gonna do a quick reset and back on the road. Actually, I have a plan to do two more trips before we go into Kazakhstan. So I hope to leave the day after tomorrow. It's gonna be Thursday. And it uh, looks like the potato season is started, so I should be good with the load. Anyway, that's it for this vlog. Thank you for watching please consider subscribing and my next vlog is going to be in Russian so stay tuned for that all right see you guys bye bye